that's so much stuff. Do 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 do. Not going to need these for a while. So if I even remember to pick up the gun. Uh, do do do. Need those. Uh, do 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 do. Healing item. Let's not get reeked. Get reeked. Okay. Sorry, that's a really weird call out for people who don't know the New Zealand accent. I used to live in New Zealand for a year and some people I knew played LOL a lot and they used to like hear people in their Discord and stuff be like, oh yeah man, get wrecked. And it's like got stuck in my head for my entire life and I now just say it all of the time. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, put these in the thing. Put the thing in the thing. The meaning of all life. Look! Elliot was right. If he was so right, how come he's still dead? God, I'm such an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's. You can't get the other one yet. You gotta go talk to Leon. Yeah, like, in RE4, there's a lot of overt sexual tension. There's a really creepy scene which nowadays has a different meaning to what they originally showed. And I don't think they realize that it kind of comes across as like, um, excuse me. There's a section where Ashley is literally like, the zombies aren't zombies in that game. They're like fairly aware kind of things, but they're like possessed by a parasite. So they're still not in control but they have more function and like intellectual capability than an average zombie in the rest of the game. And like two of these guys, and they were the guys that were like all soldiered up as well, grab Ashley when she's in jail, push her down on the ground, and it kind of zooms in in a really, really weird and over angle. And then he flips off the camera and looks directly at it like, shit, there's a camera looking at us and flips off the camera and you're like, oh my God, that looks like really bad because they push her on the floor and she's like head down backside up and you're just like is it inferring what I think it's inferring oh my god you can't put that in a game but they did and I don't think it was meant to come across that way but nowadays yeah that's that would have triggered a lot of shit <laughs> nowadays that's like inferred kind of like shenanigans shall we say Do this now is what I'd say. You also need this. Uh, do all this stuff now because if you do it later when there's more enemies, you're just gonna hate yourself. Look, oh look, it's almost like I uh, look. He's so happy. He has his book now. He no longer needs riches. Knowledge is the true wealth. It's almost like I played this game too much. It's a duel. Yeah, the argument for why a police station would be this weird is I picked up a pamphlet, explains everything. It's, yeah, this is about the gem I just picked up. Um, it uh, used to be an art gallery, but why they would just keep the art in the art gallery, you assume if you take over an art gallery, the person who possesses the art would probably try and sell it off, but like, if they have to sell the gallery, you're assuming they're running out of money, so they... Yeah, that happened. They would be liquidizing or liquidating all of the assets. Ah. Perhaps no one wanted the art, and that's why they had to shut down the gallery, because it was really bad art. Seems okay to me. Look, I walk by this. <coughs> you need these. <coughs> Pro tip. You need hailing items. And bullets. Pro tip. <coughs> He's dead. Because he's a helicopter pilot in an RE game. 
Leon. Yeah, so there's a lot of like overt, like creepy sh shenanigans. Oh, this this comes out like an episode of Friends where they're like, "Hey," <laughs> and they're just like talking, and you're just like. Like the way they look at each other, it's like they're looking very direct into each other's eyes. I'm like, hi, hi, oh yeah, I miss you. And you get this feeling that they're bouncing off of each other a little bit, but like, yeah, nothing ever happens. <laughs> Anyone who knows the canon, nothing ever happens. <laughs> Just go. We'll, we'll float for a chain link fence later. <clears throat> the power of boners will follow through. <clears throat> and then not doing anything about them. Because Cap Capom. It's bad. Did you know there's zombies? Hey Marvin, the zombies. Oh. Oh no, the thing I feared. I'm a feared. Inventory management, people. Inventory management. Now I have to throw... Oh, there's more boards here. Oh, but I didn't want to do this. Can I go up here? Oh, I'm being a dumbass. No, if I backtrack, it's going to be a pain in the ass, right? Oh, there's a flaming zombie man. Game's kind of got dark now. Uh... <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not just talking about that creepy scene I just described in um, RE4. There's, like, a lot of, like, weird stuff. Like, you, there's a lot of tension you get off of Krauser when he's talking to Ada, where he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. And it's just like, mm-hmm. And is that why you're shirtless? <laughs> Seems like someone needs to talk through their kind of tension. <laughs> like, you know. And then, like, um, it just gets really... And, like, the crescendo is, I completely forgot what Ashley says to Leon at the end, and I've, I've always thought of it more as like a Princess Zelda thing, of just like, you can kiss me now if you like, and actually she says something like, hey, do you want to do a little overtime? And I'm like, okay, that's way more like, you know, oh, I'm just going to have to run through this and come back. Oh, wait, there's a key item in here. There's two key items in here. Oh, I've done all this wrong. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I can't throw any of these things away. They're all important. Uh, throw away the gun. Everything's wrong. Why do they all sound like Blanca all of a sudden? I miss my mama. A buzz. Friend? I learned Muay Thai. I will elbow you in the face. Dead or alive, no one likes an elbow in the face. Friend? Friend? <laughs> oh. Hello, how many are familiar faces? I need this! I need this! <laughs> well, that guy's bolting it. That's one. You don't need to do this. I'm doing this because I'm an idiot and I'm just playing this game wrong. Because I'm talking about stupid things like why was Ashley so down for Leon? And then it's like, well, you know, you look at Leon and you're like, okay, fair. I'm not even gay, but like, <laughs> he's a snack. That, that was the worst. And what's e oh, I, I, okay. We can use the healing item. That was totally intentional, guys. I needed to, yeah. Oh, just elite plays, everyone. Hardcore playthrough. Speed run. Just hardcore strats. Look, another key item I can't pick up. Look. 
gunpowder I can't pick up because I'm just doing this whole thing wrong. Ah, <sighs> let's just bulldoze our way through here. That's the telephone. This is why the police phone would be here. Oh, the public phone. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> there we go. Oh, put me, put me on blast there. So you don't really need this stone. I should have put this stone away ages ago. You can pretty much unlock every door and discard this, but I didn't do that. You can just go and put this away now. You can just unlock this and put this away in the same room as this. I'm just bad, and I'm doing everything wrong. As usual. I should name the channel that. Can't, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, hey Marvin, are you, you're not dead, are you? Are you dead yet? Yeah, better hurry, otherwise he, you know. How else will we save him from the virus with no cure? Oh, this is hitting him. Oh, hello. I thought I killed you. See, he's... oh. <laughs> And I went behind him, thus proving nothing. Let's just go through here. Let's just go to the end of this. And you put your magical key in here. And that, this key is your friend, and he gives you your second gun. And look! It's a grenade launcher. Here are some grenades. Okay, I really need to do this now. Uh, the time has come, and so have I. Beep. No beep. Beep. No beep. Beep. No beep. 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 You can brute force these. You can brute force these. <laughs> you can brute force these. Brute forcing requires you to remember what you did before. <laughs> So free. Sometimes I just accidentally just pick all of the right ones in the right order. But today's not that day. Wait, what the f It's that one. It's that one. Okay. I'm losing them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! There we go. I just did the same thing that I did. What's wrong with me? Do I? Oh well. I can I can use this. It's not that one. It's this one. There's it. <laughs> oh my god. Now it's either this one or this one. <laughs> I'm glad they don't make these anymore. A small part of some sort. What could it be used for? It looks like some sort of milky bar with a plastic piece attached. I don't know which one I should take. Sometimes I take three, sometimes I take two, sometimes I take three, sometimes I take two. First, it doesn't matter. It does matter if you. <laughs> it does matter. I'm just bad, so it doesn't matter. Like I say for most things, these things make sense if you're like good at the game. If you're bad at the game and like any resources you're gonna get, you're gonna immediately just get wrecked in the next room and you're just gonna lose them all. It's like, well, you know, either I waste this thing now. Oh, I use this. Bye bye. Throw you in the bin. Um, 
either you're going to waste it or you're going to die and try again and not have to waste a very important item or like a resource because you were bad early in the game. So two, um, I have 203. I heard the door open. 208. I heard. Yeah, more of those rounds. I have a load in the thing as well. The thing in the thing. Um, they're helpful. I don't want to use them right now. He be fair. So yeah, there's like a lot of like flirtation, but they make it really clear. Like in the first few games, <clears throat> they did a lot of stuff with the live action characters and stuff, where like if you got certain endings, Claire would be holding um, Chris's hand and stuff. No, not Claire. Jill would be holding, because it can't be Claire if they're related. I can't remember from the original game. But then they were like, that's not canon, and then there was a load of stuff, and then like in this game, someone said that like Originally, originally, um, uh, in the first, the original of this, it was kind of suggested that she has a boyfriend, and now they kind of change it to her best friend, and it's clearly a girl, and it's like they're doing their best to just try and say, nobody has sex in this universe. And I'm seeing this a lot in Japanese games, especially Death Stranding, where it literally has a piece of information where they're like everybody in this universe is basically asexual <clears throat> that is the norm now I guess deal with it and you're like oh okay so there will be no romance and they're like no there will maybe some romance but I will I Kojima will say no and slap it out of your hands Fragile will be like, hey Sam, we learn to touch and love one another again after all, right? Maybe come work with me and we'll have a beautiful future, me, you, and your, spoilers, your baby. And he's just like, yeah, nah. And I'm like, wow, she's cool, man. And she gets nothing. And he treats her bad. And he runs away gets on his bike, and he's like, nah, man, I just want to ride with AMC, and you're just like, oh, okay, fair enough, bikes are cool, but, you know, I kind of felt bad for her character arc basically being nullified, not that her character arc had to be validated by her, like, getting with the main character, but, like, her whole thing was, like, I'm damaged goods, no one loves me, and then it was like, oh, you're going to prove that someone can love her, and it's not all about the fifth female form being young forever, like every pervy piece of media out there, and then they're like, sure, I mean no, she gets nothing because she's aged underneath her suit. Nobody, you, old people, they don't deserve love, and you're like, oh wow, okay. Cool, thanks. Now, yeah, I gotta go this way. <laughs> now, this area you do go through a few times. I never clean it out properly because I always forget my boards, like I did this time. And um, you need your boards. Because this, because this, <laughs> this right here. Oh, look. I can't open this door. This isn't a door. Wow, 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 wee, wow. They like standing like by the door frame. Well, I'm not getting that. I'll cut that. Friend? No. Hi, this friend. Oh. Oh, well, this is fun. 
Okay, you need to leave, sir. Sir. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I'm just gonna wrap my neck in beef jerky and that'll solve the problem. Ugh. I'm a pile of ass. Just stack up that ass. That's, that's me. At least I can get rid of these. That was basically all I wanted to do, just like get this fuck out of my inventory. Um, oh yeah, a new thing to replace it immediately. Look, it's that thing I did. Um, oh, thanks. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I need it now. Now that there's like a, a conga lining down the hallway <laughs> as we speak. The guy in lead cr crotch chopping his way towards us. Oh, great. If I'm correct, and I hate being correct, it's time for lick. Is it for lick is ridic? Oh, hello. Wow. A lot of people in this police office when this went down. Oh yeah, it was a refugee shelter with that being said. Um, and they just perfectly stand in a way where you just can't look. Why don't you go have a water cooler moment over there or something? Jeez. Yeah, that's that's a kneecap. So where did you buy your kneecaps? Seriously, like, I put too much weight on mine and I fall over, what the hell? You guys can take a bullet. It's okay, guys. I achieved nothing. Seriously, I achieved nothing. Um, because I missed a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, I didn't... Oh, I did it wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. God damn it. <laughs> the theme of my life. Yeah. I know you're not dead. <laughs> I know. He probably is. Or is he? He'll come back at the worst possible moment. You basically have a choice in this game. You either deal with a zombie, because you think he's going to be a problem, or you don't deal with a zombie. That's where it breaks. Is it here? It's probably here. It's not here. It's here. I think it breaks in two places. Hands. Pretty cool that he was holding up the metal claw when he was dying. Oh yeah, I can't do this yet. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing it wrong. I'm in the wrong place. Opposite side of the opposite side. No, it's not the opposite side. Where did the stars always? Oh, I need. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to speed through the game and I'm just forgetting everything. What happened? Uh, yeah, because I forgot to pick up literally anything from that room because my inventory was full. He's fine. He's fine. This was just, yeah. Sam Bambo, Linguini. Mm hmm And now they all just went off to have a conference or something. Rawr. Are you in here? Are you doing your zombie taxes? No. But I do go zombie taxes. around this guy. 
Yeah, just for the space in the inventory, really. Which I'll then fill up. Oh, good, I won't. But which I'll then fill up. <laughs> sure. You can't catch me, big chungus. I, I should get a meme counter. Yeah, let's do this. Acid rounds. They're really effective against living things. Oh my god, my life is meme. My life is meme. I am become meme. Oh, that even, I'm pretty sure that evens a meme. Oh lord. what I did wrong. Oh, I'm not supposed to go here. What am I doing? The place with the steam. The steam place. Where's the steam place? It's not through there, is it? Oh. It's been a while and now I've forgotten how to, like, where anything is. He was just having a lie down. Don't worry about him. Oh, no, I broke his leg. Now you have no legs. Ha 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 ha. Oh, better not run. I'm just really nervous about this place because I can't remember when certain enemies ping. Um, yeah, can I jump some stuff? I have to dump some stuff. This is just a mess. that. Eat that. Um, let's just take it like that. I'm going to save it in a minute. We've almost done this first pass area because we've almost got all of the tokens. Oh no, so scary. Who will win? Flesh-eating monster or some woody boys? Oh god, I'm literally just a walking meme factory. Who's this floor? So what was I uh, talking about before? Uh, yeah, like, uh, I wanted to go and play through the Ada Wong sections over the other sections that we're gonna play through because I really did not like playing through that section. It was my least favorite part of the game, is in the clear pathway, and you don't have to deal with it. The Ada section isn't much better. It consisted, most of the time for me, of walking round and around a table whilst trying to hold a gun in a certain position so that it will do a thing, whilst being chased by a guy who is the most, like, Imagine being chased by a guy who's like a stress inducer. That's the whole point of that character. And um, the whole time, and he can do a lot of damage. And the whole time you have to solve a logic puzzle, which is like, imagine there's wires here. It's, yeah. Somehow, that's not the worst subsection of this game. It's annoying, and it really pissed me off and I always end up shouting at the screen for it. It's not the worst part of the game. For me. The worst part of the game. This is really good pacing and tension and I'm ruining it by complaining about the one problem in this game that I don't like. Let's just see. Snick. You can't beat the door. I like this made in heaven thing because you know that jacket seems that important. We'll do this version of diamond. Yeah, things are stacking. 
Oh, look. I can't get in. Need some sort of ooze bay. Look, that's the the gun. I want the gun. But you can't have the gun. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Annoy some more people by making an infinite acid round and then going, how come I don't have enough bullets for this other thing because I wasted all the good gunpowder? Do, do, do. Need this. I knew I came in here for a reason. Other than every other reason that I would come into this room. Safe combo. I actually need this now. F9, right 15, F7. Um, if we're going back that way, are we going back that way? I mean, we probably should get it anyway. I can't remember what's in that safe. What is that? I somehow managed to ignore the map. I need to go back and get the. Wait, where is that? What's in that? Um. Oh, I'm going through there right now. Oh wow, I'm just... This is the fail-through. Um, I mean, we can go back that way, but... Not there. Kind of easy. They normally stick for me on the playthroughs. They always stick like right here on the edge. See? Yeah. Do I need to do this? Is this just going to cause problems? Bah bah! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that was. Yeah. literally walked by this and I was in this room for a while so that's a bit embarrassing because yeah hey baby don't meow cat's meowing go next. I, I kind of want to finish this section before quitting for the this session and it's like kind of bugging me. So I'm going to just get everything done. What did I just... Yeah. Safe. Safe, 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 safe. I don't think it works the same way as I think it does. Oh, there's a guy behind me. God damn it. Wasting my sub stuff on this guy. Just stop. Left nine. That was not left nine. Let's check anyway. Oh, okay, the last one was seven. Right fifteen. Seven. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't very important, so that's good. might mean the one I said had a pouch in doesn't, or it might mean it does. Um, I'm going to stop guessing. <sighs> Let's just go back this way. I don't want to deal with what's in that area. Um, yeah, I'll throw 
build stuff. Yeah, cost build stuff. Uh, yeah, a lot of this game is like, well, anyone who's played an RE game knows it's a lot of individual management. Oh, did I just do no? That's fine. That's not the thing. You should do something where the weapons are on the top. Um. To go that way, don't I? Yeah. Thank you. To go that way. Okay, so I've got to go up here. I've got to go up here. Oh, I can go through the library. Wow, why are you saying meow? Cats knocking things over on the floor in a kind of strategically just knocking things over for attention and saying meow, look, it fell down, pay attention to me. And he thinks I don't know, know what he's doing. And then he looks at me and goes meow. Okay. This section's gonna be loud though, because everyone's messed up. Okay. Might actually use the grenade launcher just for ease of use in a minute. happening. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh god, I hope it's not in this one. I don't like it. I want to get the section over and done with. Um, the Face, face, bow, snake, but it's really hard to see. Face, bow. Might be a snake. It was. Kids, I have to deal with some problems. Yeah, <laughs> I had to deal with some problems. Well, one solved the problem, so it's not that big a deal. No way I wasn't going to get out of that any other way without taking damage, so... You notice that guy that fell down? Was the guy that came and walked through the fire? Maybe it was. I'll have to watch it back. Oh. So yeah, let's talk more about my exposure to RE games and media just being really jacked up and weird. I've had I've known that they existed perpetually throughout my life and that other people I know sort of played through them or were too scared to because some of my friends really can't deal with any form of horror and they panic so they, they know that they wouldn't be any good at them which means that I was actually like none of my friends were like oh yeah you should check out Ari it's really fucking sick until recently um, and like watching certain YouTubers always gush about Capcom games obviously Resident Evil comes up a lot uh, I actually had a very weird kind of um, involvement with them where it was just like I didn't know anyone I could borrow the game off of I didn't know I didn't really seek it out because it's just not something I really was inspired by oh well I found a way out 
but I don't want to move on yet. So my exposure, like I said, was weird with the games, but what was even weirder was actually one of my first exposures was that, um, I can't even tell you which one it was, because, um, okay, because it was a really, like, they always have weird adjectives at the end, but it was one of those really bad movies, my cat's pulling <laughs> the mouse now, <laughs> um, uh, it was one of those really weird movies, gonna unplug that, that, um, was it Paul W.S. Anderson that did them, and it's his wife, the wife insert movies, where it's like, hey, yeah, I know you think this is about Resident Evil, but it's about how badass my wife is, look, it was the one where she's in a fucking, I mean, I think a lot of them had this, there's one where she was in an incubation tube or something, and there's a lab, and she kind of fights Nemesis, but then Nemesis gives into the power of friendship, like some Captain Planet episode, and like that was the only one I ever watched. And I was like, and then it finished, and the credits were Kill Switch Engage, the end of Part Eight, and I was like, oh cool, this is literally probably one of the most interesting parts of this film because it's something I actually understand. And I'm just looking at it, it's like, I don't even know much about this franchise I just know that that's not what Nemesis does this is a horrible representation of Nemesis because it's like rubber mask level it looks really dot dank I watched it on Netflix and felt like oh I could have done better than this but you know I just felt like watching a dumb schlocky kind of horror movie thing what have I got left to pick up so I'm gonna save it now because my cat's complaining. He wants attention. Yeah, so like, I'm sure we'll talk about my exposure to like bad RE games. Uh, bad RE games, bad RE, well, that too, but like bad RE movies as well as being just a really weird kind of like, everyone's like, you didn't play 4 even like retroactively because that came out when I was like 12, 13, I think. Um, or like, you didn't even like, you know, pick up anything else. It's like, well, until they remade them, actually, you got to think, like, 5 came out, caused a problem because like, there was that racial row, and then everyone said that the AI was terrible, so I was like, oh, I'll miss that. That's not a good place to start. So, obviously, like, a lot of it is, um, if you just get into it at exactly the wrong point, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you should play RE, and then all you hear is fans complaining. The movies suck. RE5 is not great, RE6 is like somewhat bad as well, or worse, no one really ever explained to me what was wrong with it, and then I watched an LP recently, and I was like, oh, there's fart monsters in it, so it's probably something to do with that, and then, um, yeah, it was just like, until these remakes came out, I was like, oh, you're telling me these games are great, but then you're telling me, oh, tank control suck, re falls good, everything past that's kind of bad, and the movies are terrible, and I'm just like, well, you're not helping me out, hardcore fans, where do I start? And then it's like, oh, you should totally play these games, they're important, it's just, they're really unpleasant in some some form or another, something's wrong with them, and you're always like, um, okay, <laughs> and I'm glad they remade these, because uh, I really don't want to deal with tank controls, because I still can't get my head around them, even after trying it for a whole game, and, um, yeah, I just, bad AI triggers me, so I would have got really pissed at 5, and then, like, yeah, anyway, time to finish for now.